Hi Gemini, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world in English language. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Right now I'm going to do a reading for Gemini people that what you should expect in November overall. Whether it's your love life, whether it's your work life or any other area of your life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out uh, three cards from this tarot deck. First card will be first 10 days of November, second card will be middle 10 days of November and third card will be last 10 days of November. Uh, so let's start, uh, so stay till the end of the video, watch the video till the end so you don't miss any messages. So let's start shuffling Gemini. Okay, messages for Gemini, November 2021, messages for Gemini, November 2021. Messages for Gemini, November 2021. Messages for Gemini, first 10 days of November. Messages for Gemini, first 10 days of November. Messages for Gemini, middle 10 days of November. Messages for Gemini, middle 10 days of November. Messages for Gemini, last 10 days of November. Messages for Gemini, last 10 days of November. So the first 10 days of November are great. We have 10 of cups here. Uh, so that tells me, Gemini, that in the first 10 days of November, you're going to be completely satisfied, especially emotionally satisfied. So if you're married, then the marriage will be great. Uh, you'll be uh, having a great time with your family, marriage, uh, husband, wife, spouse, children, whatever. So, so, so it looks great. It looks uh, promising. It look. Uh, it looks that. Uh, um, uh, it's. Uh, it looks like uh, you're going to be completely satisfied, complete contentment, and you'll be very happy. Even if you're not married, even then, uh, you'll be. Uh, very satisfied and uh, emotional. You'll be feeling emotional bliss. Uh, so some of you maybe will uh, move in together with somebody or somebody will, uh, some of you will uh, decide to get married, uh, something like that. So it's complete happiness I see for you in the first 10 days of November. Okay, why is Ten of Cups here? Why is Ten of Cups here? Why is Ten of Cups here? Nine of Pentacles. So, uh, you'll be very relaxed. You'll have your comfort zone and uh, you'll be uh, feeling very good about yourself. You'll be feeling that, okay, I have what I want uh, and I have what I need. I even have uh, more than what I need or I even have more than what I want. Uh, so you'll be very comfortable and also you'll be very uh, in a very independent uh, mind state like you enjoying your comfort zone and you having more than you need and more than you want. It's a very good energy. In the middle 10 days, we have Queen of Swords. So you'll be a little bit analytical in the middle 10 days of November. Maybe you'll be very straightforward and blunt with somebody. Uh, for some of you, you'll cut somebody or some situation out of your life which is not serving you anymore can be a friend, it can be a job, it can be a partner, something. Of course, it's going to be different for different people. But the energy is that you're going to be straightforward, you're going to be analytic, you're, uh, analytical and you're going to be blunt about something. And uh, maybe you're going to get some kind of clarity or you will do a clear cut uh, straightforward conversation with somebody. Okay. Why is Queen of Swords here? 
Why is Queen of Swords here? Why is Queen of Swords here? King of Cups. So yeah, it's about people. Something you are saying to somebody. Straightforward, clear cut. Uh, maybe uh, you were, I don't know, holding some emotion inside you. You have been holding some emotion inside you. Or something you are wanting to say to somebody. I think you'll say it in the middle part of uh, November. Because uh, this is, for some of you, this is driving you crazy with this nine of swords in the background. Uh, like, uh, I think you have been uh, overthinking about it. So it can be something you need to say and you'll say it in the uh, middle part of November. And then in the last part of November, we have Queen of Cups. So there, there will be an offer around you, an opportunity around you. Maybe somebody, uh, it can be an offer about love uh, it can be an opportunity in love or in um, in a job or in a work situation uh, and uh, in the last part of November you will be thinking deeply about some opportunity which will come uh, in your way somebody is gonna offer you something or um, somebody is gonna, yeah, maybe offer you something and uh, you'll be thinking about it. I don't see you making any decision in November, but deeply contemplating and thinking about something uh, which uh, will come into your way and you will like it uh, and you'll be considering it. Uh, but you will not be making uh, the final decision in November. Maybe after that. But uh, in the November last part, you will be deeply thinking about or considering something and feeling good about yourself. Uh, you'll get some kind of importance. Uh, somebody is going to give you importance uh, the, in the last part of November and uh, you'll be liking it and uh, maybe you'll be considering it. Why is Queen of Cups here? Why is Queen of Cups here? Why is Queen of Cups here? Nine of Cups. So, uh, by the end of November, First of all, uh, Gemini, you'll be very happy and satisfied. And uh, you'll feel that, okay, my wish is fulfilled. So uh, maybe that offer coming towards you is what you are wishing for. When you uh, wish for some job, when you wish for a person in love and the person comes and say that I like you, it's like that. Or you want a job and the company calls you that, okay, we like your work and we need you. So it, these are just examples. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen like this. So it's like that, uh, that whatever you'll be thinking about, or you will be considering and having uh, a deep thought about it will be a thing which you want. So the thing which you want is going to come right in front of you and offer itself to you. The opportunity you want will show itself in November and at your doorstep and you will be feeling good about it 
and you'll be considering it. So overall, it's a good month for you, uh, Gemini. And uh, I think things are going to move forward and uh, uh, you'll be very satisfied and you'll be uh, relaxed uh, in the month of November overall. Please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. And thank you so much for watching the video. Stay blessed always.